Good morning. Welcome to today's devotion. Last Sunday we had two wonderful baptisms and this week I want to show those baptisms again but this time there'll be a different camera angle as well. More importantly however as you see these baptisms and as you hear the testimonies I invite you to consider whether you have been baptised or not and whether it's time for you to say yes to Jesus in this way. Or perhaps you were baptised before, maybe even many years ago. Think back to that time and how important that was in your growth as a Christian. So be blessed today as we see again the two baptisms from last Easter Sunday and celebrate the work of Jesus in our lives. The Lord be with you this week. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Zephin. I grew up in a Christian household and went to church as a child. I attended Sunday school, which was a very big part of my childhood. But did I really understand who God was and what he did? I only saw the stories told to me as just stories, and I didn't realize how much these stories impacted all of our lives. I didn't really think about how big a sacrifice Jesus really made, and therefore I didn't do much in my faith. But one person helped me to change that. James, one of the former youth leaders, helped me build my faith. His determination to build us, the youth, into adults who truly loved and feared the Lord inspired me to dive deeper in my faith. Before James joined Trinity, I felt that I was obligated to listen to what people told me. But James told me to challenge these ideas and find the truth. My maturity in my faith began to form and I discovered the breaking, uh, heartbreaking meaning of Jesus' sacrifice. As I started to grow, my parents and myself especially started asking the question of, should I get baptized? At first, I thought that I wasn't ready or I'm not prepared. I started to realize that I didn't have to be ready. I just needed to be willing to show, Jesus, to show the world that Jesus is my savior and master. This idea was later reinforced in the baptism class. As my faith started to grow, my thoughts on who Jesus is became clearer. It's not completely clear, but less foggy and less distant. I feel a sense of hope and encouragement throughout the day, but this does not neglect that my life isn't perfect and that I fall sometimes. However, it's this joy that keeps me going. My life is still a mess and I'm only 16, so I still have much to go through, but I know that he has a plan for me. Throughout my day, I have started to think more about God and how he affects my life, my daily life. I have also been able to use the gifts that God gave me to bring him glory, like singing or drawing. Baptism is only the start of my journey and my journey doesn't end here. I still have doubts about my faith at times. I must continue to dig deeper in my faith and I know it will be a hard path to follow. But with your help and prayers, as well as God's help, I know my faith will grow stronger. Zephan, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Saviour and Lord? Yes, I do. By the grace of God and relying upon the Holy Spirit, do you intend to follow him always? Yes, I do. Zephan, upon your confession of faith in Jesus Christ, I gladly baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, from whom all blessings flow, we give thanks to you, O Lord, that on this day, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, is risen, that through his death and resurrection, we are made righteous in your sight. We have come together this morning to give thanks for the life of this young man, Seven. You kneeled and loved him before the foundation of the world was laid. We rejoice that on this day, he declares his love and allegiance to your son, Jesus Christ. May the love of the Father illuminate his path forward as he journeyed deeper into his relationship with you. May the Lordship of Christ guide his thoughts and conduct, that he would be the salt of the earth and a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. May he be continually renewed and filled by the Holy Spirit, knowing that he was made for good works in you. Through trials and tribulations, may he always seek your kingdom and your righteousness, righteousness first above all else. In his weakness, may he find rest under your wings. May his artistic talents, imagination, and creativity continue to bring you glory and guide those around him to the cross. As Christ as our head, we, as well as those who came before us in faith, we welcome him into this fellowship of believers. We ask that your goodness and mercy follow him through the rest of his life and ministry. Indeed, O oh God, nothing can separate him from your love through Christ Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior, the one true King who is to come again. Amen. Hello, I'm Daniel, and growing up in a Christian household, I've been part of a church community for almost all of my life. But when I was a kid, I did not really understand Christianity, and it felt like something that I just participated in because my family did. The first time I realized what God has done for me was when I was 11. I began to understand how much God cared for me, and that Jesus went through so much pain to save us from sin. It was then that I asked Jesus to be my Savior and to be the center of my life. This made me want to be part of the church more personally. And as I've gotten older, I've been able to see more of the impact that God has had on people's lives. I've always enjoyed hearing stories from others about how God has changed them. There have been times when other things have taken priority in my life and I've felt distant from my faith. But even throughout these moments, I have felt God's love from the people at church. Church has always been a great community full of good friends and supportive people. I hope to be able to give back to the church more and continue to grow with the people around me. Going to youth group every Friday is always something that I look forward to, along with Bible studies that help me delve deeper into my faith. I want to grow more in God, trying to show his love to the people around me, just as others have shown his love to me. I know that my future will not be without struggle, but I want to try my best to continue to strengthen my relationship with God. Daniel, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Savior and your Lord? Yes, I do. By the grace of God and relying on the Holy Spirit, do you intend to follow him always? Yes, I do. Then Daniel, upon your confession of faith in Jesus Christ, I gladly baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for Daniel. Triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Christ is risen, and because he lives, 
we can approach your holy throne to offer our praise and thanksgiving. We worship you, O Lord, for all creation came into being and is sustained by you. For in you we live and move and have our being. We have gathered here today in your name to witness and celebrate the life of this young man, Daniel. In his very being bears your image, for he was fearfully and wonderfully made by your hands. We rejoice this day that he has chosen you to be his Lord and Master. For you have foreknew him and set him apart to be conformed to the image of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we ask that Daniel would daily draw near to you, that his life will abide in you as you are his nourishing vines and living water. Jesus Christ our Lord, may Daniel always be, remem be in remembrance of what you have done on the cross, that his life will be in constant awareness of your love and that he would seek to share that love with others. Holy Spirit, our advocate, guide Daniel as he seeks to know you more, that his study of scripture will be illuminated and his strength renewed by you. Through difficulties and hardship, may he be still and know that you are God. May his analytical mind and thirst for knowledge bring glory to your name and your redemptive message to those around him. This day, we welcome him into the fellowship of the saints as Christ as our head. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. And Christ is risen. Jesus. 